Okay, so yeah, so earlier, uh, earlier this week, like a lot of people approaching me, like, oh, you're talking about Laravel. Yeah, so I think the expectation of people now will be like, I'm real time coding here, but not actually. So I'm just talking about why Laravel is awesome for both business and for both developers. So yeah, can it look? I'm still short for this. <laughs> okay, um, hi. I'm April, so my um, 20 something years old. And I'm one of those accidental project manager. So um, why accidental? So actually I graduated as an IT, and then I fall in love with programming. And then yeah, when I graduated, I, work, I immediately work as a web developer. And then as a web developer, I quite enjoy it, like, oh, this is cool, like, everyone, like, asking me, what's your job? Like, I'm a web developer, yeah, cool, cool. So, yeah, that's my life, like, early, early 20s. And being a PHP developer, I managed to, like, learn how to use WordPress, Joomla, and other e-commerce sites, such as Zencart, OpenCart, and then, finally, some frameworks, such as CakePage, Pin Code, Igniter. So apart from that, like years after, like additional tasks have been added to me, like planning, prioritizing, communication to client and bosses. So what I do is just like take some initiative to work hard and be a better worker. So uh, apart from that, I learned how to do quotation as well and uh, leading some PHP programmers. And a little time goes on, I get a different job title, and now I am a project manager, but as well as like, I'm very, I'm also half technical and half manager. So, yeah, so I think th that kind of like job description is very common to uh, freelancers as well, like freelancers doing both management and coding. So, yeah, I also work in FunctionAid. So FunctionAid is doing both IT support and web development, so mostly all IT we cover. And yeah, it's my two. So these are the PHP frameworks that are available right now in the open source marketplace. So as you can see, I don't know if you're familiar with all of them. So the, the green one is the Zen and Cake and should I forgot all of them? Yeah, so the, the simplest logo, we all know what is it. So it's the L with a square on the top. I think so. Yeah, that's how it looked like. And yeah, so uh, this morning I went to the Google Trend to check, I mean, how popular, uh, how many people are interested in Laravel. So as you can see, Laravel is the most, yeah, it's, for, for the past 12 months, the Laravel is the most popular among PHP devs and clients. So they are more interested in, in knowing um, about Laravel, like devs and clients worldwide. So the lowest is Zend. Maybe because it's so hard, yeah. yeah. And yeah, Laravel. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, so Laravel is, as it said, and most like I researched for all the blogs about it. It says it's great for beginners and fast development. So uh, great for beginners. Um, I think for me, it's for if you're a beginner, you should learn how to do like from scratch, right? Build from scratch. But actually, um, I can also. Uh, Agree, it's good also for beginners. Like you don't need to code like the authentication, the middleware, and all the stuff like that. Like because it's an MVC structure already, and it's a fast development. Um, fast development means like um, it's mostly similar to Ruby on Rails, but the implementation is much cheaper because because you only need the PHP hosting and stuff like that, and. It, you can also integrate it with uh, the popular right now, which is the CSS framework like Bootstrap and Foundation. So it is built for different kind of websites. Um, yeah, from small to medium to large scale. And um, it will be around for the next five to 10 years. So I think this is good to, I mean, as a manager, it is also a good assurance to tell your clients that um, this, is, um, this is a good framework, this can last five to 10 years, so they will not be scared of, like, it will be, uh, it will be volatile, or it will be, it, the website will still be live for the next five years. Um, it's also an 
ecosystem, it means like it's not just a regular framework, but it's also a development framework, which is why uh, all the PHP devs are raving about it. Yeah, so sorry about the background, because I, I like it, so I'll put it there. It's quite clear, right? <laughs> so, yeah, um, full stack framework. So full stack means it has a lot of functionality. Uh, okay, so some of them are, okay, routing. So routing is, the routing of Laravel is, uh, is the same as code igniter. Um, it, it is done by the controller and the method names. And um, it's easy for routing basic uh, static pages and passing parameters to functions and using name routers to make URLs easier. And it's also good for group routing. MVC structure, so model view controller. It's quite a different approach, though, but you, you can understand if you already work in other MVC frameworks. Authentication, so they have uh, their own login authentication, so uh, it's also good. So, I mean, we have tried to, I mean, before, one of my programmer built a, um, authentication from scratch and not using the authentication from Laravel, and it was a disaster, so never do that. Um, command bus, pagination, validation, file system, cloud storage, so it's quite a lot. Eloquent, which is, I like this a lot. Make life easier, and blade temp, shit, this long spelling. I hate Mac. Okay, blade templating. So yeah, it, it, it was autocorrect, so after like, I answer right, it's tempting, blade tempting, shit. Yeah, so <laughs> blade, uh, blade, blade templating. So yeah, it was, uh, blood templating is quite good for front-end developers because they, they don't need to touch PHP coding at all. So next. So OK, this is the ecosystem. So OK, one of the ecosystem, um, ecosystem is the, the uh, framework for uh, development framework. So one of it is the Alexa. So it provides a clean, um, Fluent API for Gulp tasks for apps. So it supports commands, CLI, JavaScript, preprocessor, and testing tools. And it's also good for versioning your assets so, assets, so you don't need to worry about uh, front end cache. Um, so sh uh, scheduler, so uh, it is for yeah, scheduled tasks. Uh, I find this very cool. I mean, in Laravel, um, they're, they're scheduler because it's. Um, because for me, right, it's very difficult. Like you have to test it manually. It's very a lot of work in doing cron jobs and schedules tasks. So yeah, this is quite cool. It's very easy. And socialite. So uh, socialite. So we have a lot of login, uh, login authentication that using social media such as Facebook, Google, or Twitter. So um, in socialite, it's very easy. Like it handles all authentication. So I think you can. The half you can only do the half of the workflow, and it's also integrated with Twitter, Facebook, Google, GitHub, and Bitbucket. And uh, next one is the Fly System integration. Um, it provides um, um, it, it it provides a driver to work with local file system, uh, Amazon S uh, S. S3 and Rockspace, so this flies there. And database migration, so this is, this is the feature that I love the most. So it's like a version control of the database. So it let you modify, create, and store, store the app in the database schema, yeah. So you just need to create like in the code right, and, and immediately it, it, when you, when artisan PHP create your uh, table, then it will automatically create your database. So it's quite good Like whenever you uh, collaborate with people, like working with other people, no need to add like manually in the database and yeah. So another one is the mail API driver. Um, it's a driver for SMTP, Mailgun, um, Mandrill, Amazon SES, PHP Mail, and SendMail. And last is the homestead. So this is a development environment. I haven't tried it yet, but I tried to install it on my computer, but can't really work it out because it requires some virtual machines such as VMware and 
um, I think Vagrant, yeah. So uh, for this homestead, you don't need to build VM for each project. So you, you can use same VM for multiple projects and uh, yeah, you, you don't need to wait for any provision for this one. So that's for the, for the, yeah. And one thing that uh, we love working with the, uh, Laravel is the deployment. So as a, I mean, as a working as PM, you have to do the costing right. So hiring DevOps is so expensive. And not a lot of developers know how to use Amazon and have the knowledge to deploy in the, in the cloud server. So thank God um, Laravel has this feature for deployment. So they have Forge, so uh, I think it's like $10 a month on the website. So it handles creation and provision of servers for you. So it will hook into your cloud server and it will let you create your server. So you don't need to worry about what kind of PHP version. Is it the MySQL installed in that? And it can also automate deployment for Git. <laughs> Say, so, uh, okay, uh, okay, yeah, that, so that's for the Forge. Another one is the Envoya. So Envoya is, is a deployment to, new, uh, deployment to a new code with, with a breeze. So it has zero downtime and the user won't face maintenance page while you are deploying your stuff. So it also have app health check and cron job deployment. Then another one is a Racketeer, so another tool for automatic deployment and yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the same as the deployment HQ. And other one is the Envoy. It's also a tool for uh, task running and for deploying, deploying, deploying script. So that's some of the deployment functionalities of the Laravel. So one, uh, the other one is the, that we like the most is the Artisan. So we all know that we can do, we can install uh, functionalities or libraries using Composer, right? So uh, artisan, artisan is the other one. So it's a command line interface, which I mean, for me as my, I mean, I don't know most of you, but I don't like really working with command lines. But for Artisan, it really make my life easier. And it's, I find it also not so very, I mean, it's very comprehensive. So th these are the example of the command execution of PHP. So for this one, it, um, if you like to want to serialize the result of your route PHP file, so you just execute this rt send route cache command. And for the second line, if you want to create a table in your app, so you just PHP rt send make migration, then create users table. And if you want to execute a scheduler, so PHP artisan email, and then expiration. So, how many minutes I have? Okay. Yeah. So uh, another one thing that we love is testing. So nowadays we don't really do. I mean, we we, we still we still do actual testing, but we need a uh, unit testing. So in PHP uh, in Laravel, it also supports testing with PHP unit included in a box. So um, you just need to do some configuration in it and then you can, uh, uh, you can, you can do or create the, your testing pages on your, on your Laravel app. So that's it. Laravel is more than just a framework. Um, it's also like it's an ecosystem. And because you dear developers and PMs, you deserve to be happy. And uh, yeah, so if you want to, uh, who, who are currently Laravel developers here? I mean, have you, well, um, that's a lot. But yeah, if you want to uh, um, learn more about Laravel, you can go to laracast.com. So it's just, it is also called as the Netflix for developers. So uh, yeah, so this is where I learned Laravel as well. And I find some of the tutorials, video tutorials is bo quite boring, but this one is quite cool. I mean, I follow, it, I follow what the video said in my other screen and then I do it on the other screen. So 
yeah, it's very, um, I mean, if you are a beginner or uh, like a designer and you want to learn how to do back-end coding, so it's also um, advisable or recommended to use. So one of the app that we made for I mean, under function aid, we made is the next chapter that com.hk. It's a, it's a female crowdfunding website, which is um, founded in Hong Kong. So we are going, we're expanding in all over Asia. So it's mainly for uh, women entrepreneurs wanting to be funded and wanted to help other women as well. So uh, if you want to learn more about it or if you want to check more on how we built this, uh, no, the, the product that we built using Laravel, so you may go on to nextchapter.com.hk. Yeah. So th that's it. So thank you. So follow me on Twitter, um, Ara Phoenix, and visit my blog, aralovelace.com. And if you're a woman, so I think I've already asked a lot, like, few of the women here to join our Facebook page. So it's the PHP Women Asia. So if you have, like, guys, if you have friends who are women or coding PHP and then who wanted to learn about PHP, then you may ask them to join our Facebook group or visit our site, or maybe we'll be having a meetup soon. And it's also, uh, uh, yeah, and I mean, having a women group is also good for us, like for collaboration and creating, I mean, I mean making, um, making inspiration to other women and yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, that's all, and thank you. If you have questions, just come to my call. Right now. Okay, bye, thanks. Whew. Shit, it's done. <laughs>